Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to export 2D tracks from 3D Equalizer to New. So now we are inside 3D Equalizer and just I have tracked these 2D points for this sort here. So now just I am going to export all these 2D tracks from 3D Equalizer to New. So for this, if you want, you can just select your required point. So suppose you want to export all points, then you have to select all points. Or if you want to individual point, then just simply you can select your individual point then just you can export so here I have selected all these points here then after this we have to click on this 3d4 then file then export so you will get this script which is export 2d track to new so this is script just you have to download from 3d equalizer.com so this is totally free script then after this just you have to paste this script inside 3d equalizer script folder then only you will get this script inside 3d equalizer so just simply we have to click on this export to be track to new then after this just you can select your folder so here i have selected this export folder now inside just simply we have to give file name now just we have to click on ok then second option just simply select your required points then right click on these points then you will also get this option here export to be track to new so again this is same script now just click on export to be track then again same age you can select your folder then downside you can give your file name so just cancel this one here so one more important things here so before exporting your point just you have to set this 3d color timeline according to your image sequence frame rate so just go to this camera so you can see this is your starting frame so same starting frame just you have to type it here then after this you can export your all points here so now just we have to open new and just we have to import all these points inside new so now we are inside new here so I have imported our same footage inside new. Now press S as for project setting and just set this resolutions here. So which is our this one 72480 according to your this sequence resolution or frame size here and just select this maybe input here. Then after this just we have to click on file then insert comp node and just select your file which just we have exported from 3D equalizer. So just open this export folder and just select this file and just simply we have to click on open. So you will get these trackers here with your all points. So now just connect with this footage and just view this one here and press 1. Now just double click on this tracker so you will get all these track points inside new. So you can see all these track points here whichever the track 1, 2, 3, 4 like this you will get all your track points inside new here. Now just define properties 1 here Then after this just you can use all these track points here and just simply maybe you can remove your all these PV markers here or if you have a composting so then you can also use all the trackers for your composting but for this expression just I am going to remove this marker from this sort here. So for this just take a roto node press O and just create a shape. Now press E for edge feather here. Then after this just take a PXF filler node and just connect this image input with your footage. Then whole mask just connect with this roto. Now select this PXF layer and press 1. So you can see just simply just I have removed this tracking marker here. Now if you will play so this will not actually remove in all frames because this is roto actually not animated according to this marker position here. So for this what we can use just we can use the trackers here. So first we have to find this track mark position here. So just simply double click on this trackers here. So you will get this point which is your point number 2. So now here I have selected this track number 2 and these are actually translate rotation and scale parameters here. So just check this translate here for this track number 2 here. Then after this what we can do so simply just double click on this roto. Then after this just we have to select this shape inside this root folder here. Then right click in this blank space here. Then click on link then tracker 1 and just select tracker 2. So this is actually main tracker which our this one here then inside this you will get all these tracks here okay so just right track point just you have to select now you double click here again just select this save and right click then link to tracker 1 and track 2 then after this just we have to select all these points here and just simply just we have to repositions so now here if you will see 
so this row 2 is just following according to our this track mark positions here now if you want to check then simply you can double click so easily just you can see so now just play and check so now simply just i have removed this uh, tracking marker from this face here so like this just you can use all these points and, and just simply just you can remove all these tracking marker from this face here so guys if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching